Sal, how concerned are you after another hitless night for Lindor? Yeah, it's frustrating. And in a big spot, look, not all at bats are equal, right? That's a spot where I thought Lindor hasn't looked awful this year. You can, he's playing good defense, good energy. You feel it's a matter of time. And I still think it's a matter of time before he gets going. But this is a chance where they could have won that game against a terrible closer in Craig Kimbrell. Bases loaded, two outs, down two runs. This is it. This is the moment. It's been a struggle to start. Lindor needs to at least get a base hit there. And he doesn't even give you an at-bat grounding out on the first pitch. It's infuriating. All that money that this guy's getting, at some point, he's got to start hitting and carrying this team. We know the rest of the line, Conforto with the K, he's been terrible. Alonzo, McNeil, and so on. Outside of Dom Smith, nobody's hitting. They need Lindor to get going. That was a big moment, and it cost him a game. Yeah, it was a big moment for Lindor. I mean, he's hitting a buck 71 on the season. So he's gotten off to an atrocious start here through the first, what, 12 games uh, to begin this uh, the 21 campaign. Here's what surprised me about that approach. I, I was su surprised they swung at the first pitch. With the bases loaded, I know you might say, well, I mean, I might be the best pitch I get to hit in that at bat. I thought Lindor would have made Kimbrell work a little bit more in that at bat, but the weak ground out the first base to end it, yeah, disappointing, no, uh, for sure. Uh, Lindor, of course, not alone. As Sal pointed out, McNeil and Conforto riding right along with him on the interstate right now.